physical sciences of paintball. Splat, splat, splat. What you just saw is what we call static friction. Static friction occurs when an object cannot use the force to move another object. In the next frame, I'll show you a demonstration of projectile motion. When I pull the trigger on my paintball gun, air pressure from the CO2 tank will push the paintball out of the barrel. Once it leaves the barrel, it will travel on the air that pushed it out at about 300 feet per second. The projectile's motion, or the paintball's motion, will change due to the forces in between the target and barrel, such as wind and rain. All right, here we go. <sighs> Splat! Darn. Well, I missed the bullseye, but the paintball's motion was changed on its way from the paintball gun to the target. Let me show you how the paintball gets its acceleration and force. First, I will cock the gun. This will take the paintball from the hopper and transfer it into the chamber. This happens as you pull back a slot, allowing it to drop in. After the ball is dropped in, I will pull the trigger and the CO2 will be pumped through the hose past the paintball. CO2. Whoosh. See? The paintball got its acceleration when I pulled the trigger and the CO2 pumped it out of the barrel. Before playing in a game of paintball, you must check and see the FPS of your paintball gun. FPS stands for feet per second. The machine looks somewhat like this. When you place your gun on the resting point and fire, this will tell you the FPS, and the last firing was 304 feet per second. The last one just clocked in at 299 feet per second. Wow. The average FPS for the game of speedball is about 300 FPS, although some guns clocked up to 1000 FPS. All right. So this dude from the 1600s, Sir Isaac Newton, wrote these laws of motion. Here is the first one he came up with. Any object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, such as when the paintball is pushed out of the barrel. Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, related to the paintball very well, such as when the CO2 spits out the paintball, it will hit somebody with the same force. No! <laughs> Splat! Dude, ow, that hurt. I'm sorry, man. I should never shoot a paintball gun at someone who's not protected with the proper clothing. Never. Splat! The end.